Facebook is rolling out a new way to create collections of photos from multiple users. They're called shared albums and they're great for parties, weddings, and holidays where everyone's snapping pictures and needs one communal place to share them. So there are two ways to get started with shared albums. The first is to find an album you already have and open it up to friends. On your computer, click Photos from the sidebar, then select the Albums tab. Select an album you want to let others contribute to and then press the button for Make Shared Album. From here you'll be prompted to name the friends you'd like to contribute to the album. You can also dictate what level of visibility the album will have. So if the pictures look like scenes from The Hangover Part 4, you can limit the privacy to just the contributors. But if the photos are G-rated or you simply have no shame, you can go all the way up to public. Now this can be a little confusing. Just because the shared album is public doesn't mean that any random person can contribute a photo. It just means that anyone can see it. Contributors have to be invited individually, and once they're invited, they can also invite more people. A total of 50 people can contribute to a single shared album, and each person can share up to 200 photos. Now, as the creator of a shared album, you have privileges that no one else has. First, you have the power to delete anyone's photos. Contributors can only delete their own photos from the album. They can't touch anyone else's. Also, you have the power to kick people out of the album. To do this, you go to the album, click the edit button, and then click the X next to any contributor's name. Now finally, the second way to create a shared album is to create one from scratch. As usual, click the Photos option from the sidebar, then select Create Album from the top right. Select the photos you want to upload, give the album a name, and then select that same Make Shared Album button. Name your contributors, select your privacy, and hit Save. The album you created will show up on your timeline as well as the timelines of anyone you invited. From their perspective, they'll get a notification that you've shared an album with them, and when they click on the album, they can add their own photos by clicking the Add Photos button next to the album title. They can also add additional people by hitting the Add Contributors button, entering additional names, and hitting Add. So there you go. That's how to get started with shared albums on Facebook. For more how-tos like this, head over to howto.cnet.com. I'm Donald Bell for CNET, untagging myself from photos as quickly as I can.